Hi there, it's Carl Hannon here with uh, Royal Page, and uh, just wanted to thank you for reading this uh, newsletter. And I wanted to put some perspective into the numbers here because they do look a little bit awful, and people are thinking, "Oh my goodness, we have a uh, how we're going to have a market crash, or should I buy?" So I'm going to do a little bit of comparison within this about numbers here compared to what the numbers are like in a regular marketplace. So um, just hang tight and I'm going to share my screen with you. Uh, in the meantime, if you like this video, please uh, please send me a comment, uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel. If you want to talk about your own personal uh, situation, uh, even if you're looking after your uh, parents and they are looking at moving or downsizing, we certainly can help you out and you click on the link below and you can set up an appointment to talk to me in a very confidential setting. All right. So anyways, we'll uh, continue on with this. I'll just share my screen with you for just one second. Well, here's the email that we have. Okay, and as you can see, like some of these numbers are pretty atrocious. Okay, um, new listings have gone up only 4%. Okay, but the uh, sales to listing ratio and also the average price have actually dropped uh, precipitously. So what's the deal? Okay, let's, let's get some context to these numbers here. Um, if we're to... so. What I've done is I've taken, I've taken um, our archived reports. Okay, from twenty twenty, from twenty eighteen, nineteen, and twenty twenty two. Okay, and I've compared them with the twenty twenty three numbers here. Okay, so we have an idea on what is happening with all these numbers and what is, uh, and are these good numbers or bad numbers? These are. This is this is irrelevant data because it's uh, uh, outside influences of the market has caused these numbers to go crazy, and that's cool. What I've done is I've actually jotted uh, the numbers down along, along here, okay? And so I'll just go with them, with them quickly for you. <clears throat> if you're looking at year-to-date sales, okay, we had 175 year-to-date sales, okay, and that that's included with the the with a three percent increase in well four percent increase in mortgages uh, uh mortgage rates okay which caused a lot of people to hit the sidelines for a while still we got 175 um 175 sales okay and that's that's units for the month of february okay and uh so 175 units sold okay compared to 240 201 202 and then 198 so this this will be a bit of a lagging stat here if you're like at expired listings 105 compared to 115 109 100 and 100 right in the middle here okay uh we'll look at the february unit sales okay um okay february unit sales 144 units that's all in all of february okay uh in 2020 okay we're at 99, so we're right in the middle here as well. Um, and then if you're looking at um, uh, sales to listings ratio, 49%. Okay, a little bit low, okay, but this one will will be one of the lagging stats for you, okay, as, as time progresses. But it hasn't dropped off the cliff. Like in 2018, which was a good year, people were saying, and, and look at it, it's at 43%. Um, then we end up going down to uh, expired listings, 37 expired listings, which is actually right in line with everything else. Okay, now we'll skip all the bands, okay, because that's that's all skewed as well. Okay, um, uh, but if we were to go here with the average on market, which is a leading edge statistic, okay, because we'll as this goes down, we'll indicate more of a, a seller's market. As it goes up, it'll be more, it'll go to more to an equal market to a seller's market. So if you're looking at 69 year, pretty well into a equalized market. Because in these time frames, it was pretty well a uh, balanced marketplace. Okay. And then if you're looking just for just for giggles here, okay, almost $900,000 average sale price year to date okay as opposed to six six nine six hundred and nine thousand so you're looking at like a thirty percent uh thirty thirty three percent uh increase in value if you'd bought in twenty twenty if you'd bought in 
Uh, um, if you had bought in 2018, you could have been doubling your money. So this gives you an idea on how the how everything is. So my overall take on it is in this presentation than anything. Okay, here is the market. Okay, average median sale price is what this is. Okay, and this is all for the Lakeland board. So disregard the numbers because the numbers in Collingwood, Lakeside, Reach, and Southern Georgia Bay area are actually statistically higher. Okay, but if you're to look at this. And right in May, and then the interest rates started to take hold, and then we had the drop. Okay, and um, but still, we're at a level higher than 2021. Okay, for average sale price. Okay, so thanks for the um, the time to listen to my uh, take on the marketplace. And if you have any questions about your particular situation, certainly uh, feel free to drop me a line. I can. Uh, Give you my feedback i can put you in touch with some professionals such as financiers or mortgage agents mortgage brokers uh, uh construction people handyman or what have you uh, to help you out in your housing needs um if you like the content uh certainly subscribe to the channel there's more content coming up and uh if you have a specific uh topic you'd like me to touch on please uh feel free I will be having some discussions with uh, my mortgage broker in the next uh, couple of weeks. So look out for that. Uh, we'll be talking about mortgages and the different types of them and in a three or four or five part video series. So anyways, if um, you like it, please click, click the link, subscribe, uh, get the notification bell. And uh, I hope you stay safe and enjoy the last little bit of winter. And if you're going away, Enjoy your vacation.